What's up you guys? Godzilla Fan Freak coming at you today with another figure review. And today's figure review is the 50th anniversary memorial box, Godzilla 1975. Just to get straight on into the review, let's start off with the cards. I am going to be showing the cards from uh, all three movies that this Godzilla suit was pretty much featured in. Even though this is the one from Terror of Mecha Godzilla, specifically, this Godzilla suit and design also was featured in Godzilla vs. Megalon, which was 1973. Just, you know, of course the face has changed and all that stuff, but pretty much the body has stayed the same, kind of. But the, it's mainly the face that changes over this Godzilla suit's time period. And then we have Godzilla vs. Mega Godzilla, which was 1974. And then Terror of Mega Godzilla, 1975. Now on to the figure itself. Starting off with detail and paint job. Paint job is very nicely done. He is kind of a darkish green color. And uh, eyes are very nicely done, white with black. Teeth are nicely, you know, kind of a bone tone color, not really white. Very nice silver for the spines. Kind of gives that look all the way down to the tail. Tail is very nice. The tail is uh, level to the ground with the figure, unlike some other Godzilla figures where the tail is kind of up and at a curve. This one just kind of sticks on the ground like a big fat slug and just kind of gives a little curve there up, off to the end. <clears throat> feet are nicely sculpted. Feet are 100% accurate to the movie. You know, arms, you know, hands, you know, face, spine. I mean, everything just looks great on this figure. The nice little, uh, you know, uh, kind of like little wart dots on the spines there. You can see. I mean, just in a very nice pose this figure's in. He is kind of like, I'm going to get ready to beat down on somebody. This Godzilla was also known as the Rocky Godzilla. That's a nickname he was given just because this Godzilla got physical in the fights and laid the smack down on Megalon, Gigan, Mechagodzilla, and Titanosaurus, and just, you know, so on and so forth. I mean, he laid the smack down on everybody. And uh, now let's move on to articulation. Arms do rotate at 360. You might have to bend them out just a little bit just to get them around that full rotation. Uh, legs rotate a full 360 all the way around. Not a problem whatsoever. And this is another Godzilla with head articulations. You can make him look left, you can make him look right, but spins 360 all the way around very nicely. Of course, glue seal in the tail, but of course I don't break glue seals. Next, we'll move on to sizing, of course. Size him with this purple tag 68. He is just a smidget taller, but he will still size in well with anything from Bandai that is in the 6-inch scale. Not a problem at all. So, to sum it up this review, there's a helicopter outside. Go away! Try and do a review. Ugh. So, anyway, we are Godzilla Fan Freaks. This is the 50th Anniversary Memorial Box, Godzilla 1973 through 1975. Please comment, like, and subscribe. And we will see you guys in the next figure review. Thank you for watching. And uh, also, another note, that's it for the redos as well. So, there's no more redos to be done. These were the only ones that... We're in vertical that are now in horizontal. So that's it for the redos. All new stuff from here on out. Thank you for watching, you guys.